Section M Annexes. In this section, the predefined list of attachments to be uploaded after confirmation should be created. Application form is on the list by default. The user can add more lines to the list by clicking on button New and then select the type of annex from the list displayed by the drop down menu. Insert the number of documents to be uploaded per type of annex and save data. Field notes can be left empty. For each document that it is not signed digitally, the ID card of the signatory should also be listed in this section. For the list of documents to be attached and all further requirements, please refer to Factsheet number 4. Once the list of annex to be uploaded has been set by the user, section M should be viewed by the applicant. After that, the application must be confirmed in order to submit it. Before doing this, you need to click the button Check at the end of the page. Then, click on the button View of the section and Errors to see if there are any errors. Errors are of two types, Block and Warning. Blocking errors must be resolved to be able to confirm the application. In case of warnings, after these types of messages do not block the work in progress, it is up to the user to decide if it wants to check and correct it in the system, the given warning. If there are no blocking errors, click Confirm to proceed with confirmation. If there are blocking errors, correct them. View. And then click on the button Check at the end of the page. Then click View on section N and check that there are no more blocking errors. If on screen appears the indication error section have not been viewed correctly, don't worry and proceed. Click Confirm. Only now it will be possible to confirm the application and then upload the documents in the next section. After it is displayed the message the application has been confirmed, please download the application form abstract and the application form. Therefore, upload the required annexes in section M. Each annex shall be uploaded in low resolution and in PDF format with maximum size 5 MB per document and total size of 40 MB for all annexed documents. Be careful, once the proposal is confirmed, it will be no longer possible to go back and make corrections. If the application form is confirmed and the deadline for submission is not expired, modifications are allowed, but the lead applicant has to send an email to the Joint Secretariat to change the status of the application form from confirmed to in progress. The request shall be received by the Joint Secretariat three working days before the call deadline at the latest. Once the status is again in progress, modifications will be allowed. Users with digital signature. Directly proceed to digitally sign the documents and then to upload them in this section. Do not open or rename the files. Users with handwritten signature. Upload the PDF of the application form. Scan the manually signed documents and then upload the scanned version. Upload the scanned version of the identity document of the signatories. Upload the manually signed application form abstract. Please, pay attention that all the signatories are coherent with the names of the persons reported in CU and in the power of signature. Please rename the annexes as indicated in fact sheet 4. If wrong annex is uploaded, it is preferable not to use the delete button, but to upload the correct document instead. At the end of the upload process, it will be possible to submit definitively the proposal. Good luck!